This is our 1010 Center housing building, where we have 224 permanent supportive housing suites. Most of those are bachelor suites for our residents. We have a few one bedrooms as well. One of those great supports we have in this building is our pharmacy. So it's important to have an in-house pharmacy because then our residents who might have high health needs, they can come and receive their prescriptions, their medications and their counseling all in one space. We of course want to reduce the barriers and having to drive or find a pharmacy is a barrier to wellness. So from here, we will head in to the housing building. So when a resident or a guest walks into this space, of course we have our COVID protocols where we want to stay safe and prioritize health. Hello. So we'll come on up the stairwell. This is a space I always love to highlight because it shows our wonderful donor wall. The donor wall is a memory for us and a reminder that we can't do this kind of thing without you, without our generous community. This building was made possible by generous donors, government support, as well as the staff supporting it. So we are so grateful that we were able to build it and really change lives. So this is the main floor of our 1010 Center. Normally this space is buzzing with residents, interacting and building community. Everything we do on this floor is for that purpose of building community and bringing people together. Boredom and isolation are two of the main barriers to wellness. And so once we get someone in here living in this building, we wanna make sure that they make friends and they interact and they create community. This is our computer lab. Normally, it's buzz buzzing with people and has tables and chairs and looks more like a classroom and there's lots of computers set up. So this is one of our amenity rooms for our residents. This is a space where residents can play games, watch shows and just be together or be on their own. We really want to create independence and a sense of normalcy for anyone living in this building. This is our library room, so guests can drop off books, they can take books out, they can read, and again, we just want to support that normal life feeling. This is our recreation and community room. It's a space for fun, it's a space for coming together, and it's also a space for physical fitness. Of course, we want to give every opportunity for our residents to be healthy, happy, and fit. So this is our 1010 Center Common Room. This is a space where we do lots of different activities. It's a multi-purpose space. We sometimes have staff meetings here, but mostly it is used for resident engagement activities. Uh, we have food bank pickups here for hampers. We also do knitting club, literacy club, a lot of resident run activities to promote that community building. Lastly, we have some education opportunities here. We have something called Seed School, where children come grades three and above in order to engage in hands-on learning about compassion and homelessness. And they can then return to their community and they can share that learning. It's been so exciting to see the youth of Calgary inspiring the adults in their lives and the communities with these changes and with this education. So this is a typical floor in our building. And this is a space where residents can come and find their own apartment. You'll notice here that the ceilings are low and the lighting is low, and that's really part of the intentional architectural design of this space. With the low ceilings, we were able to offer a whole nother floor for residents and fit more people in here. And with the low lighting, we're able to offer more comfort. These hallways are built to have lounge spaces, couches, chairs, and really support that idea of creating community. Each resident has access to three floors in this building. Part of the reason for that is safety and independence, but also so that each resident can have an access to the laundry machines, to the lounge floor, and to their patio floor. So every lounge has a balcony. This lounge is, is very special because it has a patio. So let me take you out there. So this is our Chuck Matson Memorial Patio, which is a space where guests can relax, enjoy the sunshine, and enjoy the views. This space was generously donated by the Matson family to continue Chuck Matson's legacy of helping people and of compassion. This building is a place that has changed lives and it will continue to change lives. We couldn't do any of that without the support of the community. It is so exciting to be able to partner with a city that cares about helping others. And we know that as we move forward, we're gonna continue along that path and we're gonna really make a difference. Your impact is significant. Thank you.